viewers, welcome to Ritual TV. I am Fritz Yakubu. Today we'll be looking at small scale business, and I'm sure most of us don't know what small scale business is all about. But I'm sure with today's program, the sky will be your stepping stone. Small scale business is a type of business idea that requires little or no capital to start. This small scale business is also known as small or medium enterprise, which have great potentials and impetus to improve our nation, industrial information, and progress. This small scale business has brought development, poverty reduction, and wealth creation to so many countries of the world, making them independent and self sufficient. It has also proven to have reduced the level of unemployment in so many countries of the world in which it is encouraged. Today, we'll be looking at photography as our small scale business in Bida, Ninja State. Today, photography is the largest growing hobby in the world with its hardware alone creating a multi-billionaire in the industry. Not every one of us know how to start a small scale business. Let's join Rachel who has a guest with her, the CEO of Pedro Photography. Photography to be precise. Sir, please can you introduce yourself? My name is Adewole Pedro Ayo. Okay, I'm the CEO you. of uh, Pedro Digital Studio. Okay, sir. Bidar. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. So I want to ask you a few questions. Yes. Sir, what prompted you to go into the business photography? You want to know. What made you go into the business? Yeah, thank you for the question. Yeah. What made me venture into this business is in the first place, I have a, a passion for it. I know what it's capable of doing for me, and I know the kind of income I'm going to derive from it. The first thing in life, anything you want to do, or what you have in mind to do, is to have the passion for that business. Because there will be a challenges. If you just go into the business and you don't, have, and you don't understand the principle of the business, when the challenges come, you will not be able to overcome it. So you don't just wake up and just because people are doing it and you too want to go into it, you first have the passion for that thing. Whether there is capital or not, you will know how to drive the business. Okay, sir. Tavis, can, can you tell us how did you start? Like, how did you start? How did you start? Um, starting business, I would not, I won't, I won't lie to you. Yeah. Starting business in Nigeria, everybody knows that it is not easy. You just have the determination. Then you know the cost of starting the business, then you work towards it. That, that was how I started. I started with a little equipment that I would be able to afford to buy within this specific time. Okay. Then you start saving for it. It's not, it's not a mod that you buy everything one day. It's not a mod that you started from the grassroots and reached the top. Yeah. You started it with little capital that you have. In the first place, I told you about having passion. Once you have passion for it, whether there is capital, whether there is enough capital or little capital, once you have the basic or the foundation of the equipment that you need in doing what you have the passion for, the idea, the idea will be derived from the passion you have the work and you get everything going. Yeah. Okay, sir. So I learned there are so many photographers in this area. Like, how do you copy the many competitors around. Yes. Every business must be competitive. Yeah. If you are running away from the competition, then you don't want to start any business. We have a lot of photographers, like likewise other businesses. What you need to do everything, everything, everything is month on that passion. I told you about the challenges. Yeah. Your competitor is one of the challenges that you are going to have. Yeah. If you don't have that passion for it, when all these things comes, you, you run away. But I want us to understand that there is no any business, even if you are selling stone in Nigeria and you have you have competitor, yeah. what belongs to you will surely come to you. Once you if you are the only one running the business, the income tends to come in a very large way. 
But once there is competitor, the income reduces drastically. And uh, when you discover that this income has reduced, what you need to do is just to adjust it to yourself, just to keep your business going. It's not that your, the, the competition you are having do not affect your own business. But what you need to just do is that you reduce the responsibility being placed on that uh, business when there, when there was no competition. Now, when you reduce it, you use your business as the main point of view. You remain focused on that your business. And little idea is needed here. What your competitor cannot do, you, you bring any a new idea yeah. before the team before the team uh, before the team cast. You must have uh, get what you want to get from it. Then you yeah. think about any other idea just to get get, get your business okay. good. Those are the things to put in place for this particular business photography launch. Yes, there are a lot of things. There are lots that you cannot even finish buying. There are a lot of like the. But let me just start it from uh, the, the very important equipment that you need to get. Even to a layman that doesn't know anything about photography, you know that you are going to get the camera, yeah. you get the studio flash. Even if you are working outside, outdoor picture, you must have the uh, studio flash that designed for that uh, location that you are going. You have a lot of things. You, have, you need to buy the laptop, you need to get the memory card, you need to get... These are the basic equipment that you need to start the photography work. But when, as time goes on, as you are, bringing, as you are breaking through some barriers in the business, you get to know other equipment that you need to buy. But these are the basic you get to, you, you have to buy your camera, you have to buy your studio flash, you have to buy your printer, your passport, you have to buy your laptop. I think, a generator, because you don't have generator, even if you are in Babinsan, yeah. you don't have generator in Nigeria. You, you're never serious about your business. So what would, what would be your advice for those that would love to go into this particular business photography? There are a lot of, not especially like this as my young ones, there are a lot of advice. There's no new advice, it has been keep on coming, uh, the people we met in the business keep on advising. Even it's not only photography, all the, all the, all the, all the works that we have in Nigeria. I want to tell them that there are a lot of challenges in any, any things that they choose, any feed that they choose that they want to venture into, into. But they should just remain focused. They should not be spending money on, on unnecessary things. There's an adage that said that when you buy what you don't need, when the time comes, when you need some certain things, you sell in a very cheap rate to get what you need so there's just any money that comes into their hands today is not free they have to save it for future for whatever they want to venture into when we are young we used to we there are some of money that comes that we don't follow we use it on trending material like clothes like shoe all those things by the time we need this money it will stop coming if we have been wise since then we will have, have the idea of saving the money for the future reference. But never understanding, they say that uh, when it comes to the time of toilets, yeah. I don't want to complete it because it's so much disgusting. Right, Mr. Pedro, please, what do you understand by small scale business? Can you just share your idea of small scale business? Yes, small scale business. Let me start by saying that every society and every country have what they understand that that's small scale business. To me as a layman, I don't want to follow any dictionary definition. To me, I think it's just a business that are trapping the low returns that uh, average people in a country can do with a very low capital. Just start it within your environment. You don't need to start it in a very big way. But the general definition is the small small business that are trapping the very low income. Okay, thank you. So what are your challenges, challenges you face in this business? Yes. Time goes up. But there are, there is a lot of challenges. The first challenge is uh, 
federal government uh, regulation on certain material that we use, like chemical and uh, paper. Then uh, government policies also affect business, it's not only photography business. It even affects every aspect of human being. Like policy, let me give you an instance. Like three months ago now, the federal government shut down the Nigerian border. So the people that we used to buy at the rate of uh, 3,000, I think they just shut up to 11,000, 15,000. Yeah. So you see how the government policy can affect the, the business. And the hand user doesn't want to listen to it. They will think that you are the one that inflated your own uh, goods and services. Again, it's the problem of what is a natural phenomenon like uh, electricity that is supposed to be an avenue for entrepreneurs to drive their, to drive their businesses going. Like me now, I, I, I burn almost uh, 3,000 euro for on this small scale business daily. You see, if I can pocket this uh, money to add to my business, Again, another challenge is the uh, Nigerian economy or a country economy. Let's just generalize the issue. When you have a stable economy, it will affect a lot of uh, it will affect you a lot. So, so on and so on. As I said earlier, again, okay, competitor also is one of the challenges again. Once you say that the one, once there is no, no general policy to govern the business, this one will do this is own at this rate. This one will do his own at this rate. So people tends to to, to, to patronize the people with the very low goods and services, irrespective of quality you want to produce. Thank you very much for your time. You're really welcome. appreciate it. You're Thank you, sir. You're Thank you viewers for watching the Rich World Television. See you same time, same day next week. I am Solomon Rachel with Thank you. Hope you were able to benefit the way I did. Let's join Mary, who is on the street, to get people's opinion about small scale business. Hello, viewers. My name is Kuleku Mary, and today I'm on the street to get people's opinion on small scale business. For example, all those uh, petty traders like a uh, provision store is part of it. Then, what else? Uh, all those POS, they are part of small scale business. With this, we come to the end of our program. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.